Good afternoon, brethren, and welcome to another episode of Spotlight on the Word. Today, we are going to have a discussion on breast cancer. We have with us a resource person. She is a nurse at Kolebu. She's in the person of Mrs. Bumi Johnson Opong. Mrs. Bumi, welcome, and thank you so much for honoring our invitation. Thank you for having me, and my greeting goes to your audience. Thank you, too. Um, so we just um, we want to know what is breast cancer. Oh, breast cancer. Well, to start with that, our health is generally something that we need to look at, and we being Christians, is is someone who say we are Christians. We know that this world is not our permanent place to be. We will die. So why are we concerned about our health? But then, the Bible also admonishes us to be healthy. We can have a look at 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. What John said to Gaius. Okay. Please read. 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Yes. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. Amen. Amen. And see, Bible no my yang. Yes, yes, it was we need to be healthy. We are working on our souls to say but then it's also another aspect and why will not come and say we need to be healthy. And see, talking about breast cancer is is something that even the world after almost say October is for breast cancer awareness. And was say a drink drink na yet to to your home for about it because it's something that is it, it, really on the rise. And see, oh, be some say what is breast cancer? It's one say breast, you know, eh, yeah, it has a lot of tissues and it has a lot of um, cells. They won't. And see, when these cells grow out of baby or more, or more growing a brosa, then they can be cancerous. They they can lead to that. It took us a breast cancer. Their cells are a war breast in one or more overgrow. Uh huh. A free baby, yeah. They are confined to be. Yeah. Okay, and say, so our cells may overgrow. I just say, oh, you are in the verge of getting breast cancer. And I say, when you breast cancer, no. Um, when they overgrow, so I na ne bi a wona mkuwa so. And I was saying, maybe we hold my head to talk on him. We need to see a bit more brain growth, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Ah, now when I need a bit more breast cancer, and now symptoms being so na HSA like when you have breast cancer, and I say, when I'm going to have a breast cancer. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to be having breast cancer. Eh, yeah. Emma, Emma, be having breast cancer. And a mama, see, I say breast. A mm. mama saw breast. Sometimes okay. we, we don't see it as almost a bit many, but they have like a 1% chance of getting breast cancer. Uh huh. And a mama, or more, any or more menses, your friend be menaki, menses before, and I say after 12 years, 12 years, boom. first, first, no, it be more boom, I was say 18 years, 20 years, I've been a name, it be more boom, I but you see, yeah, it's the first age, yeah, you know it. Say, we get our menses early, like 12, no, we are starting a menses. So, when you start menstruating early now, it predisposes you to getting breast cancer. And my hormones, no, I say you are exposed to the good hormones in the term. Uh -huh. oh, okay. So, you can get breast cancer out of that. Okay. And you talked about some of the signs and symptoms. Uh, some of the signs and symptoms that will be seen in your breast cancer, eh, yeah. Um, dimpling of the breast, but who now or not for no baby at all? What's the case of dimple? So, you dimple, if you can say, Hey, more dimple, more for no at home, uh huh. So, you can have those things that will breast on, but who now baby at home, and I think so. Unusual discharge, but who now, if you are not for no, we will be our own mouth, but for, but then you see some unusual discharge, reddish, bleeding, swelling. But we need baby eye for call, and that's a lump even in the breast. Those are some of the signs and symptoms that you should you should be checking off for. Okay, 
na lamp no e ya e ba which side of the breast and na there's no particular area it may ba oh actually the lamp no and shed a knee baby oh so who found breast that's why you have breast examination that breast be our lamp yes breast be our lamp but then this lamp now here can is static somewhere and yet to say they need to be moving no but when they know this she baby aha one particular place be it should be very important yeah AC like you mean like I say yeah it's on the right uh, right side or it's on the left side no but in sister what she said you see a breast cancer and you see you see a breast examination now who call around the breast so it means that it can be anywhere anywhere okay, anywhere okay. yeah okay 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 thank you very much this is really educative um so um, what are the risk factors okay some of the risk factors um, with breast cancer, no, you may see me. Ah, at your mummy, you know, some which are modifiable, like a beer. Ubet see me, you won't be, but a being so so hot, they are not modifiable. There is nothing you can do about it. So, modifiable, maybe, yeah, say obesity. Uh huh, say why you can see a bro, so now, say, a man will near my like. Cells, breast cells, maybe so so. Eh, you need to be very so. And alcoholism so so predisposes you to breast cancer. No more sun, sedentary lifestyle, uh -huh, those things. And I think so. Now my baby increase your hormones. They were like oral contraceptive. See, eh, it's easy because your birth control. This modern Ghana, now my day, you need to control your birth. And yes, sir. Oh yeah, over there, you give birth. You see. There are some things that some of these pills also predispose us. In as much as you are trying to cut down the number of babies, uh, yeah, but oh no, it's also predisposing us mm. to this breast cancer thing. Yes. And see, some of these things, and also so cause breast cancer. And some of the unmodifiable, non modifiable risk factors, yeah, yeah. Um, gender. In as much as a male maternal breast cancer, no. Or more, Rate of Munyano, yeah, 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 a mad and wash room. A same one, money, general, uh huh. It's yeah, and a man, or you know, breast cancer more than they do. And I think so, um, yeah, your genetics, like, oh, my man, your breast cancer, it can predispose you, our genes, our genes, me, it can predispose you to getting breast cancer. And I think so. So family history, I've talked about it. Yes. Menaki, I've talked about it. Obesity, the in, and an increasing age. Increasing age is also another factor. Say, so okay. you know, and also predispose us to getting breast cancer. Okay, thank you. And uh, from what I mean, you know, are there some medications that when you take into your body, you can get? Uh, yes, from cancer? research now, um, penufa, you know, omu kase, um, Oral contraceptives, they said they make her, you know, yeah, it predisposes you to getting breast cancer and it be alcoholism. Okay, yeah, all right, thank you. And see, um, breast cancer, no, we hear a lot of myths about it, so um, I think you just answered one of the myths I know that has to do with only women getting, you know, okay, breast cancer, but then I'm sure there are several myths that we hear, we read on the internet, so um. What are the myths of breast cancer and what is actually like what is what are the real facts? How do we debunk these myths? Okay, some of the myths with breast cancer eh, yeah. um say obi bet maybe say say me bomb no fuku powder. Meet when your breast cancer. Hey. <laughs> yes, <laughs> people talk about it. They are like, hey, obo no fuku powder for meet when your breast cancer. That is not true. It has no scientific proof say obob or no for powder or bits men breast cancer. Yeah, in the yam mo muti me do bob or dry no more powder just or near she uh and I think it be musi brazier. It be musy a brazier be bob brazier we are eh some brazier we are see there be a monk of your breast cancer. It's not true. It has not been proven say brazier, this type of brazier eh 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 because the breast cancer near yeah, there, and I think so. If you will say um, mammogram, 
mammogram yeah idea yeah they should share breast in him to rule out some of these breast cancer things if you must say um some mammogram you can predispose you to getting breast cancer but it's not true mm. uh -huh, it's not true the thing is mammogram no crown on eraser or exhibit you know, it's so small crouching x-ray if i say on oh, start eh, now doctor say on to me who near one was sending me to us oh dear could try x-ray oh they oh like oh ha and i'm gonna go try x-ray now but you are so confident so i'm gonna try x-ray no but then they cut a mobile grammar now we should say but one thing we know they say x-ray radiation you are exposed when you're taking the x-ray is much more than the mammogram. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay and see those are some of the myths that people mm -hmm. think about breast cancer that are not true okay my dear viewer please so be catch yourself over powder benya um breast cancer it's not true just as our mamines has said that it has not been scientifically proven so don't just jump into conclusions and um, so my next question has to do with the fact that um, so um, it's possible for a man and a woman to get um, breast cancer. How can we lower our chances of getting breast cancer? Um, when we talked about the um, risk factors, no, one say she share you maybe a a bit to me, ama wenya the modifiable ones. Yes. If I say when we talked about obesity. We talked about alcoholism. We talked about the, you find the two way. So if they are predisposing you to it, that you have, you need to cut it down. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So obesity, and then maybe yeah, now maybe can say we should eat healthy, sedentary lifestyle, eating at night, and those things. Then we cut it down. And I think so. Um, yeah, be my naya yeah ha ewo. Like in the month of October, we say, you know, once we are talking about breast, so foundation gets um, involved now, or more examine, or you see, this kind of things, no, baby, or one of meeting him, and I say, oh, it be a way beside, say, do you have a family history of breast cancer? Who beats your voice and out? Then you're like, okay, so if you have a history of breast cancer, then these are some of the things you need to stay away from. Automatically, uh -huh. so some of these things help to decrease your chances of getting breast cancer. Thank you. Have you been examined this month? If not, kindly visit your nearest health center to have your breast examined to reduce the risk of you getting breast cancer. Thank you. And um, so we we've spoken about family history and all those things. Is it um, a concrete thing that? Um, when we talked about the non-modifiable risk factors, we, we spoke about it. Say, the chances of you getting no woho because it's genes. Okay. But in as much as you cancer, no, we are not so concrete. Say, because we are not so Chin chin chin, hundred percent be nyebi. That is not it. But there are chances. Say, if you were busy, you would be one she year. Bit me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. This is Spotlight on the Word. Kindly follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Telegram on Spotlight on the Word. You can have fellowship with us. You can listen to our podcast. You can take part in our weekly quiz trivias and you can also listen to the word of God on Spotlight on the Word. That's all me know the truth. Sorry. Thank you. Um Mrs. Johnson. Yes. Opon, please. How do I get screened for breast cancer? How do I get screened? And what and what about the mammogram? Okay. I know you've spoken about the fact that the mammogram it's helpful but does it have like risk factors like disadvantages and is it all the time that maybe i have to use the mammogram to test my okay tests? um diagnostic investigations you no know, like how to detect um breast cancer you no know? mammogram as you talked about you no know, and you no know? um so yeah you see for for me about 40 years okay 
Yes, about 40 years. But almost um, when you're below 40 years, no, you use to ultrasound. We have something we call ultrasound. And see, mammogram, no. I had to send machine every more home because oh, it's painful. But it's not. Maybe every year uncomfortable because of how the mammogram machine looks like. So it's like a machine that you need to put your breast in there. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So, um, because it's very painful, then I don't know who I do. No, 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 no. Fine, it can be uncomfortable, like, mm. uh -huh. but it's like you put your breast in there, then it visualizes what you want to see. Mm -hmm. And aside, I don't know, there is breast biopsy, breast excision biopsy. So, it's, they go in and you take a tissue, like, or breast, you know, they take some tissues to examine. I'm going to call lab, no matter what share, and your mom, so, who can trust cells, no, be with mom. And I think so there's MRI, MRI of the breast. Yes, yeah, so these are some of the things that we do too. And I think so mammogram, no, um, is done like almost um, um, 40 years and above, no, it's ideal for them to do it every two years. Okay. Every two years. And now, uh, almost um, 50 and above, no, it's uh, ideal somebody in every one year. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for this in, uh, information. So, what are the treatment options for breast cancer? Okay. Um, there are several treatment options for breast cancer, and the treatment option depends on the stage I went through. But I'll speak generally about the treatment options that we have. So, some of the treatments it can be surgery. So, um, surgery, they go, then they take maybe a part of the breast out, or all. It can be all of the breast, or it can be part of the breast. We can say, hey, I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm not going But then, it's, it's for your own good. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm not going to be able to do breast and I'm not going to be able to We have breast prosthesis. So, what's the prosthesis that is? An artificial breast. Mm. So, um, you would know for now, then they put that one there. So they were, yeah, it will not be obvious. Say, hey, mommy, we know for back on the now. So, they are constructive, reconstructive stages. That's the basic amount of breast in our back. And I think so, some of the treatments you can go into chemo, or um, maybe chemotherapy amount. Into chemo, no, will shrink um, the cells now, eh, you know. Uh, overgrown the boundaries and to shrink them and I think it's also radiation radiation is also a whole. so um, you see, like high energy like radiation to kill the cancer cells and I think it's to hormones if you want to know you see hormones said it but yeah and my um, cells now a mini baby no ever brass it okay. yeah thank you and dear viewers if you have breast cancer, it's not the end of the world. There are several treatment options you can undergo. So visit your nearest health care to have access to these treatment plans. Okay. Um, what is your faith? Say, Oko Hospital, not say, yeah, diagnosis will say, oh, breast cancer. Is it the end of the world? Like, what is your faith? Because I know, say, in as much, say, yeah, say, yeah, what treatment options. So let's also come like to the social aspect how do you feel psychologically physically yes even breaking the news to your friends and your loved ones um, it's not easy because you'll be like it's not easy it's something chronic so it's a chronic it's like you are living it with the rest of your life it's like it's a chronic something and see and yeah easy it, for the person to even accept it say they have more breast cancer it's not mm -hmm. easy. Sometimes, sometimes you cry. A who no cry be cool cry and sana. Ya rare na kasa kwe kum. Yes. So it's 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 something that is is worrying. Can say when the patients are not able to admit say I have breast cancer and there are some things that can be done about it. Treatment will hold. It's see once you are diagnosed, fine. It's okay to feel anxious, but then I'm sure there are a couple of people who will speak with you. Doctor Simba Cheche ni mama trail. There are treatment options. Treatments, ni say ni say ni say ni ebe ya no. Na say the beya on home beto. So all you need to do is, I mean, cooperate with them. Say the beya. Ebe ma bi biya kofi. So ebe ma biya kofi. So when you are diagnosed with breast cancer, it's not easy. There are treatment options. So it's not the end of life. 
Yes, it's not the end of life. So there are treatments or modalities that can help to I mean, reduce or prevent complications via from, from, from the breast cancer. Okay, thank you. Well, I say, um, sometimes we see these things on, on TV, we hear announcements on radios mm -hmm. and read a lot about it on the internet. Do you think that the way the internet or social media portrays breast cancer can, you know, induce this fear in, in people, in the masses, like... Um, yeah. Say, it be a make us eh, you were feed ye beer fans a radio station be. You see, October month, you were feed ye be no, I can't move now, don't know for no question when they feed ye be to say x ray. And so, so, so they see can't first, you know. The x ray, the the rays that the x ray crown exhibits as are more than the ones that the mammogram. And see, sometimes they can escalate things. And see, I, I, I feel that in as much as a more boy and so. I mean, make the awareness to say there is breast cancer. No, I think you should visit the nearest hospital and our clinic. Yeah, they talk about breast cancer. So they be, yeah, I mean, to clear your myths and doubts about okay. it. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. So now let's come to the church. Okay. Um, of course, we also. We are not free from getting mm -hmm. um, breast mm -hmm. cancer. We are not too special that we can't have such conditions. Mm -hmm. So when someone is diagnosed with such a condition, how should we you know, help the person? Like family, friends, people in the church, how can we help such a person? And what are some of the things we can say to them? Okay. Um, we as a church, you know, we have... A very big role to play when it comes to some of these chronic illnesses especially breast cancer and Bible no my yes yes we should bear us yeah so I am more this way yeah in um, Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 so also I yes so I am more this way yeah no breast cancer is part of it so me we need to visit them because the kind of psychological Trauma now, a crazy ever almost no, it's not easy. You see, as a church, you know, we go and visit them, we edify them. Oh, this is not the end of life. Yeah, to two on four about it. We support them financially because breast cancer, no, when you know, I'm sure I don't mean age, man. I was so did I was so funny. You know, there are a whole lot of things that comes with it. And see, we, we, we need to uko on your moko bomb pie. I mean, it gives them hope. Say, Ebiya, oh, I have people supporting me. And yes, say, Ebiya, we, we, we see the illness. Say, why your bunny be? We shouldn't think that way. Say, Ebiya, eh, the power in why your bunny be na? Breast cancer, yeah, but so on. Eh, no, it's not like that. We, the panel na atom. Or china be winning, maybe it's not Yes. So, in as much as we, at all, we see a treaty, we know. We should treat the panel, sir. Yes, so some of these things, your cocoa bomb pie, we support them financially. Oh, friend, be sano, waffle, where draw, go on, no pair, do no, why away? When it's the next review, at least they, they feel that we care about them. And these are some of the things that I, I think the, the church should do. Thank you. So, yeah. um, these things that we are supposed to be each other's keepers yeah. in the church, you cannot, um, let just because the person is sick or has. Such a condition does not mean the person does not uh, need our love and our care. So as church, as brethren, or as people in the Lord, we have to do well to be there for each other. And this spotlight on the word. Thank you all our viewers for joining us this afternoon. Kindly follow us on our Facebook pages, um, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, and also on TikTok at Spotlight on the Word. You can catch us live on Sundays and interact with us. Thank you so much. But before what are your final words to all Christian brethren that are watching us today? And based on the discussion, what are the final words you would leave with us? 
Okay, me that's it, baby. Um, one thing I would like to say, they say we should make time, especially yeah, 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 man. No. We should make time and examine our breath every month. Say, I want to say before so be boom, sir. No, there are some changes, hormonal changes, be on my using your breath, and that is normal. So, um, like from five. After so when you're menses, like five to seven days after so when you're menses, mm -hmm. no, you need to examine your breasts. Try every month. Say five days to seven days after your menses, you examine your breast. So examining your breast, you know, you, you stand in the front of the mirror, like you will tired here, then you stand in front of the mirror to assess it. Naturally, the breast, you know, back air yeah, slightly bigger than the other. So I realize yeah. Yes. yes. So Ujina no for anymore. You know how your breast is. You know how it is naturally. And so Ujina Honoma, you see the changes the other more. You see that a uh, yeah, maybe there is dimpling, maybe redness view of baby, a be a menofo na no no nepo no a co inside a umiemia a be a discharge. You are not somebody who is breastfeeding, but then is it like discharge be a baby a no baby a yet a dente a bit to me yet a dente to say a kaechi when we say a kaechi it's it's a no it's it's a um 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 then you go forward, then you go and um, find out what it is. And I think so, yeah, my memoir, or more yet, or more bro, or more menses. No, one thing they should know, and they say, I was home up every month. What's that? Yeah, my mom, when you're in the post, no, or more they are not menstruating. So, make I say, after menses, not check here, it doesn't apply to them. So, what they need to do is after. Every month, they should take a particular time in a month. Almost so the member examine normal breast. Yes, and I think so. We shouldn't be scared. We shouldn't be scared about say, hey, it be a corner say you move say your breast cancer. That is the beginning of the treatment. It has to be known. And sana bibi wo hon mo mo debe bo mo de abwa. And I think so. We should. Breast cancer is real. It's real. Ebi mo hon mo omo to hon meka say. Is it is it really real? And if you want to tell me, baby, no more pace, can be ready. That is not it. Breast cancer is real, so we 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 need to be to be aware. Thank you very much. Breast cancer is real. Your health is very important. If you notice any change in your body, kindly visit the hospital or any health center close to you to have it examined. Thank you so much for coming, Mrs. Johnson of Pong. Thank you for having me. Before we go, yesterday was your birthday. Yeah. So, a belated happy birthday to you. Thank you. And we have a surprise for Surprise! <laughs> really? So, <laughs> hi. Uh, Ruby. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. This is really a surprise. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. So excited. Thank you. Wow. Thank so you. For the baby girl. <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. I'm so wow. grateful. I'm so grateful. <laughs> thank you for joining us for today's discussion on breast cancer. Let's interact on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Twitter and Telegram on Spotlight on the Word. Um, here are some of the activities we do. We have Sunday live stream on Facebook, daily quotes, the sermon series, WhatsApp Bible discussions. We also have a podcast and we provide Bible materials as well as seminars and lectureship. We also have short videos on YouTube and TikTok. Follow us and learn more about the Word of God. Spotlight on the Word, that you may know the truth. Thank you so much.